Hey guys, Braden from Adrenaline Rush. On this episode of the Kite Fit program, we're going to talk about the RDL, or the Romanian deadlift. Now, this is a different variation of a deadlift that you can do. It uh, can be a little bit difficult to really master, and I would, never, I would never really assume that I'm a master of it as well, but it's one of those exercises that you can implement into your training program to help build up posterior chain engagement, work on those hamstrings and glutes. Now, what an RDL is, is basically when you deadlift the bar all the way up, I like to think about it as this is our new starting position. Now, basically, we break at the knees. What we're trying to do, now the big thing is the angle of the knee, knee bend. So, it's almost like a stiff-legged deadlift, but it's not really a stiff-legged. So, when we, when we break at the knee, notice we've got a slight knee bend here. Now, with the RDL, we're going to try and maintain this knee bend the entire time we go through the lift. So as I'm coming down with the bar, I'm not dropping my bum like this and increasing this knee angle here. We break at the knees, we push our bum back, trying to keep the knee angle the same, coming down until you reach you know, full tension or something that's comfortable, and then you come back up. Now what you're trying not to do is move your knees too much. So a little bit easier when you have a little bit of weight, um, but you sort of get the idea. Now what you wouldn't want to do is you break at the knees, and do this. Notice knee angle is increased. We're going to break at the knees, bum goes back, really build that tension in the hamstrings, come to the top of the knee, or just blow it, and then back up. Now with the RDL, I don't usually like to go all the way to the ground. You want to try and maintain tension on the hamstrings and the glutes the entire time, and it's just about nice controlled movement. Now some people don't like to go all the way to the top as well, but basically I just like to break at the knee, go down as far as you feel comfortable, and then back up, okay? So I'll demonstrate. Now the grip on the bar can be the same as a deadlift or if you double overhand, it's really up to you. Ideally, if you do alternate, try and alternate each grip, each set, just to build up that muscle balance, okay? So basically, you set yourself up. I wanna try double overhand today. Deadlift it all the way up, and then I'll turn on the side for you. So we break at the knees, Bum, bum comes back, coming all the way down, keeping the bar close to the body, and then try and come back up. Now, just working on that controlled motion of the deadlift. Really trying to engage through the core. And you put it back down. Now the big thing is you're going to feel quite tight across the back as well the next day just because you're resisting the urge to roll shoulders forward. Really stay nice and tight through the core, making sure you don't drop your bum when you do go down for the, the, the descent of the lift and trying to stay uh, as controlled as you can. That's the RDL, give it a go, start a flight, broomstick if you need to, work your way up into something, something that's going to be controllable, work on it for a couple of weeks, a couple of months and then uh, see how you go from there. I'm Braden from Drill and Rush. I hope you uh, got a little bit out of the RDL today. I'll see you next week. Cheers. Check out adrenalinerush.net.au for all the links.